A substitute sensei, huh? Okay, I nominate myself. Go team! Teddy wants you! Yahoo! <laughs> well, in a matter of speaking, to be clear, I'm declining the position. I tend to prefer the role of advisor. <laughs> Sounds like Teddy wins by default. Okay, hold it! There's no friggin' way that's gonna work. Wanna do it then, Kanji? Huh? Well, if that's what you guys want, I guess I can give it a shot. What? At two, Kanji? My empire was destroyed in a day! <laughs> what empire? You ain't the leader yet. Great. Kanji and Teddy are arguing over nothing again. It's nice that they get along, but we've got more important stuff to worry about. I don't care who. Just hurry up and decide. Ugh, you're both acting like kids. That's it, Ted. You asked for it. You and me, right now, dance back. <laughs> I'm gonna crush you! <laughs> Challenge accepted! Prepare yourself for the ultimate in bear rake dancing! Bear rake dancing. <sighs> Just then, I sense something change in the atmosphere. Instantly, I'm on my toes. Now Tokone notices, notices it too. She warns Kanji and Teddy, interrupting their argument. Hold on, you two. I felt something. <laughs> you sure are funny. Welcome to the Midnight Stage, featuring Sumomo Ujima. There you are! Wait, Sumomo's up ahead? <laughs> That's what I said. It's almost time for the performance. She will shine forever on the Midnight Stage, as the Sumomo everybody wants. Sumomo is a lucky girl. She gets to join us and share our bond. <laughs> I already heard about you, but damn, you're one grade-A dumbass! You kidnapped her and you're saying she's lucky? You got a beatdown coming, punk, so get your ass over here! I'm glad to see you're full of energy. But let me remind you of one important thing. Huh? The hell are you talking about? Kanji-kun, in this world, no one hurts or gets hurt. I already confirmed that rule for myself. To physically assault someone here would be impossible. Stupid rules. <laughs> Here you can say goodbye to all your pain and suffering and connect with everyone. <laughs> Sumomo will be so happy. Look how many have gathered just for her. It's the shadows. All of a sudden, something like black mist flows out from the darkness around us and solidifies into countless shadows. They're all connected by ribbons, just like the ones we saw when we were pulled into this world yesterday. Ah! Shadow alert! Shadow alert! Hmm? They really are tied together by those weird ribbony thingies. <laughs> You'll understand soon enough. Come on, just connect with us. The song. Oh, the hell is this? I don't feel so good. Oh, I'm getting all wobbly. Again, just like yesterday. As the eerie song gets louder and the shadows dance, I start feeling drained, like my will's getting weaker and weaker. This isn't good. I pull myself together and look around to see if the guys are okay. Be careful. If you're caught in those ribbons, they'll start affecting your mind. Hang in there, everyone! Don't let them get the upper hand! Their so-called bond is a joke! We need to make them realize that! <laughs> I hear ya. Why should I be all buddy-buddy with them when I'm only getting tied down? Hey, Rise, give me my homework song. I'll show them what's up. Huh? You're going to dance? I was kind of surprised. I mean, it's not that I don't trust Kanji, but I never thought he'd be so hyped about it. Wow, Kanji, you can be really reliable sometimes. What? That's no fair. This is where I'm supposed to step in. Watch and learn, Ted. You're about to see Kanji Tatsumi bring down the house with a man's dance. Man's dance. Well, you're not going to hold anything back, as if you ever did. It might actually be perfect for the first round. Okay, I'll play your song, so you better give it everything you got. Damn straight. Alright then, hit it!
Let's get it started now. Yeah, I won't slack off. Kanji kun, don't freeze up. I'm certain you can do this. Hell yeah! I danced my ass off there. All your practice showed, Kanji-kun. You put forth an admirable effort. What an admirable effort. Kanji's dance brings the shadows to their senses. They fade in the sparkling light, going back to wherever they came from. As I watch the spectacle, I'm somehow more convinced that the shadows here were bound to the place by that weird song. This is awesome. Hmm. Oh, but you are quite impressive yourself, Kanji-kun. Uh -huh. <laughs> Good job. You kind of freestyled a bit here and there, but it was very you. I have to say, that was an amazing performance. Not bad, Kanji. You think so? I mean, of course. <laughs> What'd you expect from me, huh? <laughs> well done. The shadows were going wild to see you dance. Kanji's face goes bright red from all the compliments. Hehe. <laughs> Silly Kanji. I was genuinely impressed though, 
His moves felt totally natural, compared to how he was during practices. Still, kind of rough, but not bad at all. Then, as if remember he remembers something, Kanji suddenly poker faces. Hey, this still kind of bothers me, but I just dance and work on the shadows. Kanji-kun, don't tell me you just dance without understanding why. What? Of course I understand. You know, it's all that, uh, stuff, right? Like, like, like Risei said. Yeah, the stuff. <laughs> Dancing ain't about thinking too much, but more like, uh, letting yourself out. Yeah. Our guess was that in this world, it's somehow easier to convey your feelings to others, whether humans or shadows. That's why our dances can, can influence our audience so much. As proof, my senses are way sharper than usual, and even in this big world, I can easily tell where Senpai is. Of course, I'd get a better reading if I called my persona, but it was kind of incredible how I could do that and communicate with others all on my own. I could even broadcast our songs to all those shadows at once. My persona provides backup by connecting my mind to the others, so it must be especially affected by this world. Well, can't complain since it's helping us deal with the situation. But besides that, what Kanji said caught me completely off guard. You remember what I told him before? You were actually listening? I'm kind of surprised, Kanji. Well, what I'm trying to say is, I did put my feelings into it. You know, like saying, this is who I am. But the fact that the shadows actually got that? I don't know, man. Shit's weird. I mean, how's that possible? You do have a point. No matter how strongly we try to express something, it's useless if our audience is incapable of understanding it. Which may mean these shadows have emotions just like us, and recognize ours as well. I bet those shadows didn't get it at first. They were just dancing to that creepy song, feeling okay about it because they were doing it in a big crowd. But then they saw Kanji getting down. And they were like, ooh, that guy's got the groove. Forget this, I'm going over there. I see. That may well be so. Case closed. I'm not so sure I get what Teddy's trying to say. So, shadows can understand and accept what we express through dance? Then there's no problem. In any case, we got our message across. Doesn't that make you feel good? Being accepted by someone, people or shadows, it's the best feeling. As everyone nods, I feel a sudden relief. We can definitely move ahead as a team. We're not gonna lose to you, Senpai. Okay, let's take a quick break and get going. That voice said Sumomo was up ahead. Yeah, I'm ready to beat the shit out of- Wait, we can't. Uh, <laughs> dance some sense into those shadows! <laughs> Hey, you want to just make her the leader? Yeah, we're totally outclassed. Huh? You guys say something? It's nothing, leader. Please, show us the way. Me, the leader? Oh, well, let's go. Bruce is like, eh, okay, cool. I can deal. Somehow I ended up as the leader. With that settled, I guess, we start walking down the path. Didn't Kanji and Teddy both want to be the team leader? different from the ones we fought before. I wonder why. Oh well, no time to worry about stuff like that. I've got some sweet ladies to rescue. Rawr! I'm coming for you right now, my precious idols! Oh, Teddy. 